I'm going to teach you to decode any footage you like and to use it in any video editing program of your preference. First, let's find Handbrake because this is the program that we're going to use. It's an open source video transcoder. Let's open up the web page. Always make sure you use the official web page, handbrake.fr. And now we can download it for Windows 10 and later, or we can go to other platforms for all the Linux users, for instance, or the Mac OS users, or any other versions that you run and where you would want to have Handbrake. But for me, it's Windows. So I'm going to click download x64 64 bit. And then you need to save it to your designated folder. And after the download, you can go to the folder and start to install it. So double click it, click yes. Welcome to Handbrake 1.7.0 setup. It will guide you, blah, blah, blah. Next. Okay, next. Then you can select the folder so you can leave it default or you can browse a new one. Let's click install. It is installed very quickly. You can create a desktop shortcut if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Let's finish it. And now you need to go to the folder and open it up. You could get a pop-up saying you need the net 6.0 desktop runtime. So in this case, I need it. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to install it as well. Okay, and then you open it up and you've got the source selection. You can use a folder or you can use a file. I'm going to open up a file. I've selected a clip from a folder. It's a DJI one. Here we go. And now we see this menu right here so in summary format mp4 tracks h264 but let's say it's h265 for instance and you need to change it you can either use presets so go to presets and then very fast which is 4k you can use hq or super hq with 30 frames per second or 25 frames per second or whatever you want to you can fill in everything manually. So you could go to video and then video encoder, set it to whichever format that you like, and then change the frame rate if necessary, change the quality, etc. And once you're done doing everything, all you have to do is hit start and code, and it will start to encode for you and generate the right format of video so you can use it.